Well, and often you see one of them, is it, Aaron? No, it's not. You'll see it in a minute. Keep watching the video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you said about going under that tree. Yeah, I know. And I changed to the bigger magnet. I don't, know that, sir. I don't think we'll have to bring that one in. I think it's a Denix. So if it's a G Denix. G50. G50, it looks like, yeah. So if it is, then that's replica if it's Denix, isn't it? It annoyed me, it needed a slap. <laughs> Little freight bentos pie now. Bit of plate, a can, a can, another Kodak battery, a fork. and an exhaust pipe. <laughs> so I've got a sieve spoon type thing. Paul, what did you get? Ladle. <laughs> oh, I've got the ladle. <laughs> <laughs> hey? Ladle. Oh, <laughs> God, Terry's going to get some nice presents this year for Christmas. <laughs> Hang on, this could be Mother's Day gift. A bit more round. <laughs> so, Paul's got a ladle, I've got a draining spoon. And it's the same set. Just need <laughs> the fish slice. I've got an earth strap. Look at that for an handle. That's a contact. It's a switch. Isn't it? Well, yeah. Who's got an arrow on it there? On and off. That's quite so cool. So there we go, that's like brass, that is, a brass switch. There's the contactors on it. That's kind of cool. Uh, I've got another Ever Ready battery. What you got? Let's swing that around a little bit. Well, I, I kind of did show me earth strap. I've got a homemade earth strap. And then I've got a, a solid bar. And I've got an inhaler lid. Bit of bike rim. A heel from a shoe with all the tacks in it. I don't think somebody wanted the laptop. <laughs> Tank on there, it should be probably. Open oh, it. <laughs> half a one. <laughs> it's, it is like a, it's a half a solid ball. <laughs> Got half a ball, mate. Yeah. <laughs> King halfers. <laughs> <laughs> Window lock and key. I've got a window lock with keys. Been in there a while. There we go. A draw knob or something, but that's really decorative. Look, on the back end. That's cool. Good plate. The lid off the pie, steak and kidney. And then towards the screws. Actually, it's another one of those decorative door knob, draw knob things. Cool.
a plug, charger type plug. Any idea? Looks familiar, but I can't tell you what. It's a knuckle duster. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Spoon! No, what's Stuart? It's a spoon. <laughs> yeah, we've got a spoon. The Kodak King is definitely here. I've got the plug hole chain. Yeah, I've got an old buckle. Really? <sighs> I've got the slice. You keep the other one, Paul. We're doing well. We've got a knife, we've got a fork, we've got a spoon, we've got the remains of a frying pan, and we've got the utensils for cooking. What a set, eh? <laughs> now I've got the lid off the pepper pot. <laughs> yeah. And a tape measure, three metre. Cheese and onion, that's going with steak and kidney. Got another buckle type thing. Keep finding these. They're all right, eh? Another one of those handle drawers with the sconce on it. With a drawer handle. Mm. Oh, no, no, I didn't break it. So, yeah, one of them for a, a drawer. What you got? I honestly don't know. It's like an udder. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's like a. Top half of a welly that's been studied, I don't know. I'm open to suggestions on that one. Let's just make sure we can see you. Oh, you got some Made in England. Does that say Stella? No, it's just <laughs> Miller. Oh, got a little bit of a leak. Not very good then, boots are. He's got a Miller. <laughs> but why somebody cut it down and studied it? I'm sure it had a use, maybe it's a shower cap. But... Around here, haven't they? Yeah, we're putting a North Ant sticker up before we go. Yeah. <laughs> you won't be doing it, Terry. No. <laughs> <laughs> Even on your chair. <laughs> Aaron, get your shoulder carry. You can stick one up by the light bulb. Oh, it's a North Ant yeah. thing. <laughs> 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 the train. <laughs> a draw runner, a USB charger, I keep finding them. Where are they? I don't know. They're them. Great. Huh, I've got my gloves on. What's that? Well, it's a two piece cast iron thing with a 
What's your lid? It's just there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that lid thing that I found earlier, it was on the wall. It appears to fit. <laughs> yeah. And we still no got any clue what it is. But it, it definitely sort of walks in and lines up, doesn't it? Hmm. <laughs> well. Fair enough. I found a spark plug. I found a... I know what that is. Do you? Yeah. Go on then. That's an old candlestick holder, but they used to take to bed with them. Oh, is it? That yeah. your finger? Yep. That's a shame that's not in better condition then, isn't it? Yeah, so... Oh, the other thing, you can see the back of it, because you can see the pattern on the back. So it's an old candlestick holder. Mm. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. Now I know what it is. Oh. <laughs> Wee Willy Winky runs through the town. <laughs> In his frock. Just ran a bit of metal, look. Frisbee? Yeah, fish eggs on it. That horse had a dodgy foot. Then we've got another horseshoe. Oh look, Kodak battery, that's a surprise. That must be Cromwell's. Cromwell's shoe, like? Yeah. Look the weight of that for an old clock. <laughs> it's full of stuff, isn't it? It's got brass ring on it as well. Yeah. Look at an old alarm clock. Heavy duty, probably the mud and the water. Subscriber find. <laughs> yeah, subscriber find. Oh, got a bow rim and another horseshoe. That's two in two. Maybe my luck's changing. And my crate handle. <laughs> Base for a camera to go on a tripod. Bit of a cooking pan, I'd say. Aaron's got a coke can, probably a seventies one. I've now got a stove as well. <laughs> so, stove. Yeah, stove. Kerry really could have that as a spare. Someone got their stove a bit hot, look. They melted the grate on it. <sighs> Three more cans. Three more Kodak batteries and a round thing. Yeah, another lure as well. Look, oh, that's a bit of a bugger, isn't it? <laughs> right there, Aaron. Yeah. Only supposed to buy okay. the bloody door off. <laughs> it's a nice old stove door, isn't it? Yeah. Got an old range. What would you shoot at? There's some writing on it, so I look. 
stuck on side. <laughs> FM pot number five. There's a little vent holes, isn't it? Yeah. Got a little door now to go on my cooker. We're finding everything here. It's a well, Bruni PT number five. It's one of them cast on door off, off a range cooker. Oh yeah, that's definitely the old sponge pudding, isn't it? Oh yeah. Old sponge pudding tin. Best for 2028. <laughs> Canal World maintaining an Epping stove. So it's Epping. Alright, okay. Just so it's a canal boat stove. Ah, there we go then. That's an epping stove. I've got a green fork. Well, you've I've got, got the best part of a bucket full of cans. I wonder where they come from. Well, wouldn't the have come from any of these bag. boats, would they? Mmm, strange. Can you hold my bag? Oh, coal shovel. Random bit of butter. Old style front door chain. Little metal tray. A mop head. A hinge. A decorative piece of bar. And a pole. So, an adapter piece. The cast iron grate. Some random poles. More kitchen gear. <laughs> We're magnet fishing, but Paul thinks he's gold panning. Look. <laughs> oh, that's cool. An old ashtray. Looks like it should have an handle on it, frying pan for Terry. Gear. Paul's on the gear. Yeah. <laughs> A watch. And a watch. I'm sure that's a nice and knife. There's a thing in the book. I think it's and another pan handle. It's another one. It's a pan handle. Second one today. With a bit of barrel rim. And an old hoe. <laughs> I didn't think the area was that bad. <laughs> With a bar and an old hinge. Oh, I've got a toffee hammer. Oh, wow, I remember them. Oh, I've got them old Terry hammers. I mean, toffee hammers. <laughs> I've got an old toffee hammer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go all the way down there. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Think of us like poor four play pool. We wind her up, you get the benefits at home. <laughs> so do you remember one of the other videos we had loads of the old wooden bridge? There's still some more in there. Do you want to show them our nuts? Oh, Nigel's nuts. <laughs> Gotta swing it out now. Oh, it's a barrow. <laughs> it's a pen. <laughs> it's a campus pen. <sighs> nice. Just tipped it all on me. <laughs> Go on then, go for it. Makes you wonder whether some of the other bits in there is big lumps of scaffold. Yeah. 
Oh, got some scaffolding. Blooming heavy as well. Oh. That's a cracking magnet, that is. And I've got a pen, it's a campus pen. Cast iron pipe and a hinge. A bit of old strapping, another nail. Oh, you got room for another one? <laughs> I've got a hinge. That's great, yeah. Thought it was a trolley at first. Yep. Yeah, it's got something on there, but it's small. There we go. I've got an old milk crate. It's in quite good nick, actually. That now that could be off a spur. I'm not saying it is, possibly, because this is a really, really old bridge. So that could pass possibly be the wheel star bit off a spur. Cool. Put a bar. I'll bite lock. I'll bite lock. size of that shoe it fits that's a big old horse shoe that is we got mate An old squire, padlock. squire right squire <laughs> you got handle bits <laughs> that's still on I don't know what D is but I've got a D. Nice. Now I've got a cut throat razor. I don't think you want to cut your throat with it though, because you'd get blood poisoning, it's so rusty. But yeah, there we go, a complete cut throat razor. Another type of hinge. We've had so many different hinges today. One It's the third panhandle of the day. These things are everywhere, all over the place, but another panhandle. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Bar shot cannonball. <laughs> Got a bar shot. Look at the size of that. A bar shot cannonball. Unbelievable. That's a good size one as well. Things are looking up. That is beautiful. I've got a bar shot cannonball. Another one. And all the crap's just gone down my top. But I don't care because what a find. What an amazing find. That's like the ones you kept finding the half of, isn't it? Yeah, he had a whole one, but bar shot. Day's not turning out too bad, really, is it? <sighs> you got a bullet. I got a bullet. <laughs> what you got, Aaron? I got a bullet. That's a skinny one, isn't it? It is. I'm going to go and ID it with my uh, identification people. I'll, I'll just pop the gun out while you get it, yeah.
I've got bunny ears. <laughs> Some sort of trap. It's the Playboy bunny. It's a rusty one. It's getting old now, you see. There we go. They don't need to lift it up to the camera because it's coming into view now. What have you found, Aaron? Looks like a shopping trolley. That looks a bit dirty, that does. It's a manky shopping trolley. <laughs> Hang <laughs> <laughs> on, let me come over, let me come over. <laughs> what you got, mate? I think I'll let you into a little secret now, I'm going to start an OnlyFans. <laughs> Find another one and you won't have to say it like that. <laughs> He's got a blower. That sounds even worse. <laughs> Nutella Mintos. Mmm, what you got mate? I got enough. <laughs> <laughs> that must be mine then. <laughs> That's a North Ants thing. T <laughs> <laughs> cell battery. And that's net gear. I don't know what gear it is, but I'd call it more like wet gear, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh. What you got? I got the plug. Oh yeah, you pulled the plug. Water levels dropped three <laughs> foot since you pulled that out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you got a big gate bolt. Yeah. That's for the drawbridge. Oh, 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 oh. Is that what I think it is? That's not a screwdriver, is it? It's a rifle grenade. Oh. That's like you had the one in Oxford, isn't it? It is. Has that still got the pin in it? Split pin still there, yeah. Ah. I've got a rifle grenade. You can see the brass cap on it. I've got a new bucket, you're not having mine. <laughs> you can see the um, safety pin in it. Or the split pin, not the safety pin. That is a World War I rifle grenade. Oh well, I think that sort of causes a bit of a problem, doesn't it? But, over here, that hotel there is closed. They've got a massive, massive car park, so... Almost a floodplain, isn't it? Yeah, it's a floodplain, so this is going to go right out there. Uh, but yeah, that's the World War One rifle grenade. Afternoon! <laughs> We've been here since 7 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, this morning. <laughs> Hello there. Um, we found it on the bridge, but we yeah. thought, took the decision to move it right down here, out the way. Yeah. No public. Perfect. Hotels closed because they're yeah. refurbing it. So. Perfect. Um, okay. Uh, whereabouts is it? This man put it over there. It will show you exactly where it is. <laughs> so, as you can see, the police have arrived and blocked us in, so we can't escape. The lady's really happy because it's raining. Can we the hotel? Is there a problem? Um, we've pulled Sonic out of the water while magnet fishing. The police are just having a look at it now. What else? Uh, a rifle grenade. Oh, <laughs> so okay. rather than leave it near your building, we wanted to get it right out the way of your building. Like yeah, so <laughs> yeah, they're just there, so they'll deal with that. They'll end up calling the, the army, they'll come and collect it and um, Drama. Minimum disruption. <laughs> yeah, because leaving it on the bridge would have been a massive problem, you see. So. Is that where you found it? Yeah, I've magnet fishing over the bridge, yeah. We thought, as you close, people won't be coming in over there. It's no danger to anybody. Anything metal. Oh, right. We look for history, look for old things and nice things. Unfortunately, we find these sort of things occasionally. And it's a what? It's a World War One rifle grenade. So it's a grenade they used to fire out from a rifle. And there is some scrap man coming to pick the scrap up out there as well. Yeah, we've got some just outside, which we've done before, and he collects it Monday morning. That'll all be gone. He sweeps up. There'll be no mess left right, out there. Okay. Oh, he's already yeah. picked up from here for him just, twice. Yeah. We saw you earlier and then spotted a police car. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, no. It's, a, it's an explosive, but it's not. They're effective to 10 metres, but we need to get it right out of the way of people because we can't risk anybody no, getting injured with it, but... It then. Okay then, no problems. Yeah, it usually is well to be fair. 
<laughs> Always me that gets the blame. Normally you that pulls them out. It's probably about the 50th one, yeah. Amazing. Um, yeah, thanks. That was the lady who owns the hotel. She just wanted to make sure it weren't a body in a car park. And oh, fine, she... yeah, no, I'll go over there in a second. <laughs> she's, she's up yeah. yeah, she's, oh, that's exciting. So. <laughs> Well, at least you can get back in the car. Yes, as long as maybe go forward. They can only get in, I think they get in this way or they're going to be the other side of the river. Yeah, so. Which hopefully, it's not going to be a place. <laughs> so, but you know, when it was just past here, we'll go. No. Finish, so that's mm. fine. <laughs> No worries, thank you. So there we go, all sorted. As you saw, we had the owner of the hotel come over. She's perfectly all right with it. She just wanted to make sure it weren't any worse. This lovely police officer, she's happy with it. She's going to get to sit in the car on the dry now, which is good because if we left it on the bridge, then there would have took lots more police officers. So this is like minimum, minimum disruption out the way, one police officer. So in the end, end of the day it's worked out absolutely fine so there we go EOD are coming that'll be dealt with job yep. done minimum disruption and now she gets to sit and play Tetris <laughs>we go so as you can see there ends another day and it happened again it's been a long time since we found one again it's you again it's a north ants thing right <laughs> we take this as a group but anyway it's been a great day the bar shot cannonball that was really good now as you can see we're in this car park here um this last week was completely flooded but this is the floodplain car park for the hotel which is just there the hotel is completely closed for refurbishment which is fantastic um, and the police are on the way so they'll get it dealt with it's well over there it's not going to cause any disruption to anybody it's not going to close off any roads and um, but it ends with we're done but the cannonball was good as well yeah the cannonball was awesome I mean, and, no. and then he's no I mean <laughs> pew pew <laughs> even though it was more because it was a pellet gun but doesn't matter another day done we're soaking wet he forgot his coat and <laughs> We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for joining. Don't forget if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do. Thanks for joining. Catch you on the next one.